Hello and welcome back to the Golden Sun Experience. Every time we come back to this, it's something new, something different. It's the same guy, the same thing. I don't know how. Star Magician was its own fucking thing. Here I'm like, this boss is so hard. Even though it's the first one you can do, kind of, but not really. It's like the recommended first one. The other one you can like get kind of early, but you know, we're gonna do that next. This thing became its own fucking boss segment. Okay. So now we're gonna do more bossing. We did Treasure Island, now it's the Yompy Desert. Then the Islet Cave. Um, it's probably, we're probably gonna bang him out pretty quick. And then Animos Inner Sanctum. And that's where the game really finishes up. That's where it really starts, if anything. But, uh, you know, that's gonna be a separate thing. Because I'm looking at Appendix C for this. Yompy Desert, Islet Cave, Animos Inner Sanctum, Precursor, Treasure Island, whatever. Appendix F. Bugs and glitches. Yo, this guide might actually have like more information than I thought. Anyway. Yampi Desert. Uh let's see. Interior Mamongo. <laughs> Nimble Mamongo. Uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna catch up, uh, in the guide, and we're gonna drop in to Golden Sun, the uh, stage, randomizer. It feels kinda sad that this is done now, but at the same time, it ain't over. Cause one day I will return to this, and I'll play the full randomization, with like, key sanity and all that crazy bullshit. So just give it time, just give it time. Just give it time, Cal. Just give it time. You'll know, you'll know the true meaning of Christmas, Cal. Dumb joke. Anyway. Anyway. It's golden sun time. It's golden sun time. You know what that means. It's time to die to a boss horribly. 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 Let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, enough. Formula Front Extreme music is great, but mm, yeah, man, we've ha we've had enough today. Okay, I think we've had enough of the Formula Front Extreme. I'm doing my part. Blasting fucking like a mecha music. I'm doing my part. Oh uh, uh, yeah, speaking of doing my part, here's my part, and yeah, now I'm really doing my part. literally just finishing the alien hominid VOD and now you're live. More Brent content, sweet. Yes! And uh, Sorry guys, but we actually finished up. Uh, it looks like I just started, but I'm actually, I'm done. Yeah. 999,999 coins. 42 hours, 13 minutes. Let's go. I, I beat Dullahan. I mean, it's over. We, uh, I, uh, Dullahan's not even going to be that hard. Compared to like the mod versions of him, yeah, it probably ain't even shit, but shit butt. I love that, I love that. I need to get better at that, okay? Wrong earbud. Wrong earbud moment. I need to get better at that? I talk about this shit, but <laughs> there's so many times you can do stuff like that. Okay, and it's like the hyphenization meme. But at the same time, it's a, it's something else entirely. I don't know what the fuck it is. He's a capitalist. What? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, you, you say because of like my content? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you say because of all the money, okay. Duh, duh, the fucking million coins. What the fuck am I talking? I put out another piece of content. Yeah, that's right. Somebody observe the content. Yeah. <laughs> he has like literally no brain power. 
no brain power streamer. Look at that. He doesn't even know how to fight. Look at it. Let's push him over. <laughs> bully him. Bully him real quick. No, I, I think literally because I was on that train of thought. That's why I thought of that. Yeah, I gotta keep posting the, the videos of us and make that money. I don't know why I didn't think of this. I'm fucking stupid. Holy shit. You blow the hell out of it. I don't know what I was thinking. You blow the hell out of it. See, with the capitalists, we just take all the money. And we buy explosives and blow the hell out of it. He doesn't have brain power. He has brain power. That's fucking base. Let's go. Brain power unlocked. Yo, I don't know where I am at the guide. But I unleash legend. And purgatory. <laughs> we will go to purgatory, okay. Like, in Golden Sun and in VR Chat. There's gotta be, like, a purgatory map in VR Chat, yeah? There's gotta be a purgatory stage, like a level. You know, final destination? No. What have I done? What? I'm in the middle of, like, looking at the guide. Stop at me. No. <laughs> uh, Appendix C. Uh, okay, four additional... <laughs> Final destination in VR chat. Does this fucking exist? This has gotta exist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Not only does it exist, it's like fucking based. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I just see like vaporwave memes. Uh, you gotta see this. This is fucking great. <laughs> Could not load... Duh. I mean to put it in OBS. Okay, here's... Here's the VR chat, like, uh, initial stage. Final destination world. Check this out. Master hand stage. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna, like, drop down and scoop me up. In VR. Roblox VR hands. <laughs> They're definitely, yeah, there's like no doubt about it. There's gotta be. It's, it's there, it's confirmed. We even got like a taboo versus whatever the fuck stage. I don't know, I love Brawl, but I've never like beaten it. Holy shit. Is that something I do? Maybe I beat Smash Bros. Brawl on stream. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is that even possible? Can you fucking even, like, beat that game? Where is Crazy Hand? So you gotta play, uh, Glover first, and then you get the hand lore. You get the hand lore from Glover, and it will tell you exactly all you need to know about the Crazy Hand. That it's fucking maniacally crazy. The Crazy Hand is literally fucking crazy. No. I'm reading your mind right now, and no, I won't push the sleep button in the menu. It'll fuck the whole game up. I promise you, it's not worth it. Somebody out I, I doubt it's even Joder. Somebody out there is like, push the sleep button. No! It fucks up the game. Like, it, it doesn't, but I can't, like, fucking turn it back on. I, I don't remember, like, what the unsleep button is. It's too confusing, and I'll, like, scream. Yeah, there's subspace emissary. Exactly. So, there's a lot of stuff to do with that, but I'm not even sure, like... You play it several times, because it's almost like a roguelike. I get that. I'm not contesting that. How much do you even get out of it? You get, like, a shitload of stickers, which is awesome. The stickers are amazing. You just unlock all this art and stuff. Megiddo. Oh my god. I need to write that down. Like, I'm gonna fucking forget that somehow. And that's just, like, an epic idea. Just subspace emissary, I guess. Oh my god, he has, like, a place where he talks about games to himself? And he, like, takes notes? Yeah. 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 Who, like, you, you streaming and you don't do that? <laughs> Somebody out there is, is streaming and they don't like, record anything about, like, games they want to do. They just toss it up completely. Holy fuck if you do that. Like, I get it. 
But if you have like a, a full catalog and you're still doing that, holy shit, what's wrong with you? Go to the bathroom. Go, go to the bathroom. You, you need to sit in there for a while. Emissary equals Sea of Thieves reference. How did I know that that was going to be like popping in the chat at some point? We just keep getting like insane crafting materials. Do I even want to go to like Sunshine? I have three Dark Matter. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you want this, right? Wait, what? Oh, he has it equipped. You want this, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? Excalibur? You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's like the stupidest upgrade you can do in this game. Excalibur to Soul Blade is the easiest fucking upgrade. Aside from literally what Felix has. This is actually quite fitting. Firebrand in the Soul Blade. Like, holy fuck. I may be playing randomized, but I, I'm getting all of like the beginner memes. I fucked myself hard with this. What? No, never mind. I can turn around. What the fuck? Hold on. What? The, huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> this is very stinky. I'm a Sea of Thieves reference, he said. I am the Sea of Thieves reference. So it's just like... What? Huh? <laughs> how, how am I supposed to get clearance at all for this? This go further up? And then this goes full on through. I see. But why? I feel like there's just another step here I'm not aware of. So I'm question marking. I'm looking at like the games I've planned. Dude, the Resident Evil, like, fucking beta games that were unreleased. Holy shit. They're still so cool looking. Even though I, like, rediscovered that a full month ago almost at this point. Like, god damn, that's fucking cool. God damn, that's fucking cool. I have Sea of Thieves downloaded. It's just, like, I don't know when I want to play, really. <laughs> so much stuff to do at all times. Not even just fidget games. Speaking of things to do and like VODs to watch, yeah, there's so many VODs to catch up finishing. So I just need to Photoshop a lot of thumbnails. Ain't gonna take any effort because I've already done the rest of the process. What's this all about? Fuck, what? Okay, there's like a genie in the sand over there or something. I don't want to mess with that. I gotta play Elden Ring. I don't know, like, do I make a silly character or I just make, like, John fucking protagonist? <laughs> Alright, I insta kill. So, wow, okay. The Soul Army refuses to die to make Edo. It's only legend from Excalibur that it'll. It, that kills. There's like fucking 3,000 rules of dialogue. Kills him. The giant media does nothing, but like all of the rules that Excalibur imposes. Yeah, that's fucked. So I couldn't blow this up on the other side. This one was like a no-go to begin with. Very cool. Oh, whenever you want to play, I'll be done. That's good enough. Did you buy the Hotline games? Uh, I have them in my cart. I think I put them in my cart and like, like it was... I, I just always do this. It's like I'll, ha I'll have like several different things to do and I'll just pass out while I'm doing them. Cause I'm just like, I'm so fucking tired. I, ca I gotta stop. I'm tired, I'm fucking tired. Stop. <laughs> like I, I keep it all bookmarked or whatever. Or it's just like in a tab. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why can't I finish any of this shit? Yeah, it's only like four dollars right now. For both the Hotline Miami games. Hotline games. Hotline games. Go check out the Hotline games collection. Okay, that should kill all three. Except it won't. Doesn't do nearly enough damage. 
Okay, but we all get general attack up. I don't want to spend too much money on the summer sale, but also, like, you know, it feels good to own all of these things on Steam. Instead of just having, like, a fucking Nintendo Switch cartridge that nobody wants and always depreciates in value. Holy shit. Everybody dying over here. What the fuck? Cool aura. Hey, Felix, man, we're not even fighting, like, the boss of this area yet. What's wrong with you, my guy? Holy shit. <laughs> He's so depressed. Look at, look at him. He's so depressed. Well, I have two water of life. Let's fucking go. Welcome back, you fool. Fool of a talk. Okay, I've looped back around. Where do I go? Yampi Desert Cave. So, Atropos Rod is dropped, dropped by the Fire Dragon here. Riot Gloves by the Minos Knight. The Sand Scorpion drops Stardust. The Soul Army drops the Mithril Silver. The Winged the Lizard drops Dragon Skin. The previous dungeon, um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but Treasure Island had a Giant Axe, Tear Stone, Silf Feather, Triton's Ward, Salamander Tail, and Blessed Maze. So, like, the next two dungeons don't have nearly as many items and enemies because they're much harder, but also because they're much harder. <laughs> Uh, Treasure Island. Star Magician. I'm the invincible Star Walker. I'm the, the legendary Star Walker, in fact. I'm the legendary Star Walker. Okay. Man, this is confusing. Hotline Miami Game Series game. Uh, one of these days, they will release the Hotline Miami Game Series games collection of all three games for the Xbox Series X Edition Hotline Miami X Edition. Hotline, Hotline Miami X Edition. Okay, that's literally backtracking. I do not go that way. I go this way. I don't know what I was thinking going anywhere over there. This way. Maybe. What, 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 what the fuck does this go? What? Where's this go? What the fuck does this go? I jump over there. Holy shit. I thought it was just like a movement puzzle thing. The Soul Army. At least like 40 games I own. I have not touched on Steam. I have... I have 7,000 games on Steam. Like, because of so many of them are free, Valve won't technically track them, but I think that's the same with stuff like Destiny 2, right? At this point, because it's free to play, it doesn't count as a game in your games list, right? So, I got 7,000 games. <laughs> Only like 300 show up. I guess I gotta backtrack, huh? Fuck off, dragon. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I have to full circle back around. That's really stupid, but okay. I used to have the like organized list, but it, the game started getting too. There's too many games at first, right? Firstly, there was too many. Now there's already way too many. There's way too many. There's just plain too many at first. Now there's way too many. Way too many games collection. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're checking out the way too many games collection. Uh, there's way too many games in this way too many games collection. How many games, you ask? Way too many. There's a lot of games. There's, 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 there's just so many. There's so many games. Copious amounts of games. <clears throat> Maybe there will be a lot of games, Corium. <clears throat> hey, Grandpa, you want to come to Gamescom with me? <clears throat> Maybe there will be a lot of games at Gamescom, Copium. <clears throat> I can't. 
can't go this way. Game, where do you want me to fucking go? Uh... Y you know what? Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. The, the solutions will remain toggled because I didn't... Fuck. 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 God... God fucking damn it. Fuck. Fuck. God fucking damn it. Uh, it's like when you're at the water park and you spent like fucking twenty six dollars on two like small meals <laughs> and you just spilled like your extra extra large soda all over yourself so not only do you are you like your fucking jorts sticky you gotta like go shower off again and you wasted a lot of your soda like not you like the the amount left that you can drink is not even enough. It's not even enough to like finish your food. Fuck. God damn it. Now it's definitely like I I I uh, I can't do shit with this now. I'm gonna have to like resolve the whole thing, right? Go, Fizik. Become the snad. Why is it while I am sand, I am able to, uh, like, traverse the sand a little better? I, like, move ag against a grain of sand. Yeah? So that, that implies I'm, like, it's just a, uh, I'm an amalgamation of granules? Or maybe I am just one sand molecule. So one sand granule. I'm gonna molecule of sand. My god. Copious amount of games. I'd like to go back and do more of the buttload of games. But, uh, it almost seems kind of like a nil value. I think I've gotten my fill out of it. Oh my fucking god! Worst streamer. Worst streamer. I do all of this fucking garbage for nothing. He raises his attack. What is this, Pokemon? I do all this shit for no reason. Because I have to do it again. Very smart streamer. Okay, blow this the fuck up. Oh my god. Okay, well, now that I've asked the Minecraft admins for help again, where the fuck do I go? I have to solve this again? And then what? And then what? Haha. <laughs> Haha, and then what? You can't go back this way. So I gotta go back up there and then just don't go this way? Or do. Do, do go this way. Duh. <laughs> uh, uh. Which way do I go? What the 
the fuck happened there? Huh. Weird. Okay. I thought it would like only force you to go one certain direction. I was like, why? It's okay. Can I just do this? It won't let you because it's right there. Fucking weird. Well, let's go see what doing it all again does. Now that we've wasted all of our time. It's all a waste of time anyway, so... Wait, what? Fuck. Oh no, oh no, I let you know that we're all wasting our time here. No, fuck. Fuck. Go dispose of this. Put it in the garbage. Okay. Um, what? No, this. Go dispose of this and put it in the garbage. Now it's in the garbage. I see all these pillars. And like this, you know, movement puzzle and whatnot. Bruh. It just makes me feel like they had like ornamental decorative pillars. And at one point they're like, let's knock it all down. Fuck it. And so it's not even a puzzle. It's like, oh my god, this, these ruins are fucked. Whoever came here hated it. They hated it here. Okay, and that's gone. That's gone. Love you just push it enough and then he's like, I'm good. Like, let it free roll. Double dragon. Double dragon. Who will you become in double dragon? Will you be the villain or the... The, the, the protagonist, are you the good guy, the bad guy, the double dragon? Very silly. I love the music. Or is that Street to Rage? No, 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 both games do that, don't they? Very silly. Double feature, double dragon, Street to Rage. I was like picking up like a soda bottle in Street to Rage and just like beat the shit out of that, or someone with that. There you go, man. Here you go, take the Coca-Cola. That's the greatest weapon. Because you don't find anything else, ever. There's Coca-Cola bottles everywhere. It's plastic. It's not even glass, it's plastic. No, that'd be funny. It was like 1986, right? Of course it was a glass fucking Coca-Cola bottle. Yeah. Yeah, of course it was like a glass bottle. <clears throat> Teenage Bren was out there throwing those around. Yeah. Like a fucking idiot. So, what? I, I guess I can reach this from here. I, I don't know. It seems almost impossible to decipher this dungeon, but I've actually seen the entire layout now. Or at least up until this point. So. I, I just go back this way. Like, I don't know what's up, man. I guess I suck at this dungeon, but I can't go this way, so wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow! You fucking dick! You goddamn dick! Get out of here. No escape, fuck. Uh, you gotta quit! Let me go, you motherfucker! You guys, we're not even in a battle yet. We're not even, like, in a primary boss battle. You get shot down, you get shot down. Yo, you two are, like, the primary protagonist. What's going on, fools? Fools? There we go. Heal up. Heal up. Uh, yeah. So, oh, what? That, that doesn't make any fucking sense. I have to move this thing, but I can't even move it back. No, I can't even move that thing back. I don't know what I'm talking about. It slots in right there. 
Huh? I'm saving right here. Because if I fuck it up again, I'm gonna be like immensely angry. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't understand, so I'm just gonna do it my way. This way. Now, th it's, now this is still technically part of it, so I don't know if this, this counts. It should. But maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not. Now that I'm thinking about it, probably fucking not. I, I don't know. Because it's so close, maybe it still counts. The dungeon is so, like, the layout's so fucking stupid and confusing, though. It's right here. Yeah, it probably fucking reset, didn't it? Leave it to this game to have, like, some of the most confusing dungeons. I remember this one now that I'm, like, in it a little bit more. I say like so much. You could backtrack over here. But I have no way of fucking getting over there. I don't understand at all. Like, leave it to this game continually fucking confuse the shit out of me. It's all secrets. You, have, you, you need, like... Thousands of hours of knowledge to figure it out. No, it's just the stupidest thing, right? It's just the easiest thing. I've just completely missed it somehow. It's always what it is. It's like right at the beginning, too, or something. So all of this will stay unlocked because I've unlocked it and I saved here. Thankfully. Yeah, I don't- I don't understand. I'm like, like, the guide's telling me about this, but I still don't really fucking get it at all. Like, I must have just missed this exit every single time, and I'm like, really stupid, right? That's probably what it is, just that southerly exit, but who knows. Southerly exert. My exhortation- my dissertation. My exhortation? My exhortation, yes, okay, I see. <laughs> Sometimes the the mind can be uh, with like a useful file cabinet and also like a multifaceted maze. Yeah, this is my way back. So I saw this earlier and I just relented. That's why I got so hardcore lost. I fucking do that a million times in this game. I will find my backtracking point and I go, No! 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 There's more stuff to find! And then I get lost for the next fucking 30 minutes. Because I don't understand that I'm being very stupid. I don't understand at all. And it happens fucking every game with like a dungeon process. But like this especially wants to fucking kick my ass. What? Where the fuck do you want me to go, game? I'm gonna get lost again. Like, you, you can't just do this shit. You can't do this shit. So this full loops around. I don't need to go downstairs at all, or like, what? So there's like two different things I can access. The genie in the sand over there. And the hop area, where I can jump on the thing that I moved, the pillar. So I'm back in the main hub, I don't go this way at all, right? Or if I do, that's after I've done everything, yes? I don't fucking know. If I was looking at the map for this dungeon, it would be probably half the time, and my dungeon processing even if I look at it probably like once or twice. 
would be like exponentiated. But now I'm like, oh, I gotta backtrack. Yep, see, I needed to come this way. But I had no fucking clue. I'm just shaking my head. I can't even go this way yet. Stop. No, I'm not even gonna give you the chance. Fuck off. I thought it was a dragon. Throwing the chimera, fuck it. Mother Gaia. I don't know. Summon Kirin on the motherfuckers. Destroy them, destroy them, Shiba. Utterly destroy them. It does no damage. does no damage. All their synergy is so weak. Except this. No, that's weak too. Fuck. I could be using nothing but Genie against Dullahan. Okay, man. Okay. There we go. Pop off with the meteor dropping on him. There it goes. Okay. Very cool. Two weapon arts released. Let's go. So I return to the right side. Return over to the right side later. Stop. One soul army. Yeah, thanks for the free XP, I guess, man. Double consistent damage there. That, everybody almost did all the exact same damage. Okay. I guess I go back west. Just a little bit further over here. <laughs> and that's the genie, right? Which also gains me like an access port to what I actually need to do, yeah? Like that lets me move the other pillar over there. Which for whatever is outlined with sand, I don't know why, sand scorpion. I love that you can stack crafting materials, it's fucking awesome. If you really want, you could make four of the same weapon, four of the same chest plate, four of the same circlet. That's pretty cool. If you like the like power gauntlet or whatever, then you grab four of those or you know, whatever, however it works. Okay, so you pound this, Jenna. Jenna pound it. And I guess you use halt on this? Huh? A uh, good thing I held on to that all this time, yeah? Stop a moving object. Boop 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 beep! Boop 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 beep! You have to like catch up to it first. <laughs> Question mark? Stop! Do I have to, like, time it properly? I don't understand. Huh? <laughs> I have to scoop it as I see it? What the fuck? Is this, like, the most impossible genie to get? Boop, 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 beep. Do I have to, like, set? I see. Boop, 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 beep. Halt. Get fucked. Get fucked. <laughs> uh, you good, man? He teleported out of there. Which one's which? This is mind read, okay. So change this to scope. I think you actually have to bind these. I, I think you have to bind all of these psi energy. Boop 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 beep. Fucking called it. Get get utterly scooped, noob. He angry. We get another genie. Hey, that feels good, man. Finally, some progress after like utter punishment anger dungeon. One attack. Sixty nine XP. Let's go. Let's go. He said the number, dude. Jenna found the Jupiter Genie smog. Okay, change all this back, please. 
sure there's some NPC out there that I want to mind read. I don't know. Now we can move on. Except I have to backtrack again. Fuckity frick. Frickity fuck. But thankfully it's right there. This thing go right there. And then we have boss, I think. This thing then boss, I think. Jenny uses pound. She also has like a cool lighter in her pocket. That goes foom. Whenever you have like a can of aerosol. Uh, no, uh, don't do that. <laughs> it goes foom, I say. Foom. The dragon nimbly dodges the blow while I fucking send it to Purgatory. I love Purgatory's effect, because it looks like it does a lot of damage. And it also seems kind of like a reference to Fire Spin or something. But not only that, the mesh lattice both like expands, surrounds, and then contracts around the foe. It looks so powerful. It looks like you just like destroy them by compressing the fire on them. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Get, get that barbecue grill out of here. I want you I want you to get them crisscross grill marks on the dragon. <laughs> like that's what it looks like in my mind. Barbecue dragon. Mm-mm. <laughs> I can't stop eating the dragon flesh. Uh, cursed undead, you, you, you consume the dragon flesh out there, you. The Elven Bling will be so upset with you. Dude, Excalibur does so much swanky damage on those guys. I don't know swanky why I chose that word, but okay. Heal the whole party. Jafen is okay. Shafiba's okay. Oh yeah, here we go. We got this now. Let's save, and uh, like I said, this sh this should be short enough for me to catch up to the other boss, but <laughs> I don't know. This might take some time too. I keep saying like I'll uh, beat his ass real quick, but yeah, I don't know. Gosh, you see, you got smoke. You got smoke. That changes everything. This changes everything. You want this? You want this? Seven, seven, seven. Mia is way too powerful. And uh, Garrett, Garrett, can you have this? <laughs> I mean the seven, seven, seven. Ha 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 ha. Hold on, you want to trade? Yeah. And then you want this? That is like a fucking crazy upgrade for you. That's a pretty good trade-off if I need to do something like that at some point. How about this? Yeah. I don't know about sorting the rest of the party like that, but okay. I have almost all the genie in the game, I think, right? Or am I missing like another row? Because that's three, that seems kind of fitting. Or like, another two in the next dungeon or something? I don't know. So let's see, what do we do here? Keep quartz, keep ground. Pain. Petra, keep. Strike through an enemy's defense. All of these are pretty good to like, just go. I keep that. Boost defense is good. Ally strength is good. Weaken foe's attack might be good. Jenna has a lot of good stuff. Revive a downed ally. Lull is really good. Not lull a foe into a deep sleep, though. Okay. I don't know if this thing has status conditions. I don't remember this boss very well. But let's fucking go. It's time for Valukar. I am the Guardian of Fire. If you want my power, prove yourself in my crucible of flame. Let's go, Valukar. This guy's pretty damn cool. He actually, uh, I seem to remember he's easier than the others, but maybe I'm wrong. So he has 12,960 HP. 
He's weak to fire strong, or he's weak to water strong against fire. I don't, that might randomize. This shit a banger. Wait. Did I miss that chat message or hold on, what what you still here, man? <laughs> I feel like everybody left. <sighs> With over twelve thousand HP, you really need to do some heavy damage on this goon. That's what the guide says. <laughs> yeah, he is kinda like a, a just a big bully, huh? Well, we could drop Eclipse, but uh that's fire and water. I guess it's a good test to summon. Boost party defense. Weaken a foe's attack. Ceasefire can wait. I drop another eclipse. Gel 213 damage. Lowered attack. Let's get that eclipse out here. Yeah, this boss music always fits very well. 1596 damage. Let's go. We do a little over, like, 10% of his HP and damage, right there. Just qu quite a bit over 10%. Alright, all of our defense up, let's go Eclipse again. Let's go for that 20%. Solid 20%. Yo, the Eclipse drops against 1600. Let's go. Jin stun. Okay. Valukar summons Horus. So this is one of the perks of this boss, quote unquote. They can fight back. They can fight back hard. I think the thing you really need to do is, uh... You summon all of your genie as much as you can, so he can't summon them. I'm inflicted with the death status. The, or death poison, actually. It's like toxin. Gravity. Yes, gravity, in fact. Let us, uh, Sonic Slash would be cool, but, uh, I can't actually heal as you. Meteor. Attack twice next round. And you need to heal fucking everybody, but you can't. I can't quietly queue. Damn it. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to heal everybody in this turn either. Hmm. Alright. Okay, pure wish. I need you to meteor. Actually, if I'm gonna be healing up already, then drop the meteor on Jenna. Jenna dropped the meteor, don't drop it on her. Neptune or Cybel? Cybel probably hits harder. I'm gonna just keep expending my summons because he can do hardcore damage, but uh, it's fine. I can always bind him next turn. Healing is priority right now. I can return status once all my genie come back. That's 725 damage. That is solid. Now he can't do horrible things. Megiddo unlock. Let's go. He's gonna decimate the boss. As it did with Star Magician, solid damage. The reflection damage. <laughs> I don't know why I think that. It's just he did damage to me whenever I... Holy shit, that's a thousand damage. Alright, Jin stun. He uses it twice. What the fuck? Okay. Fair enough, man. My stats are super lowered. But you fucked up, man. You fucked up hard, man. Let's see. Seric? I don't think that's gonna work. It'll do hardcore damage, but it's it's not gonna help. Boreas, none of these actually have the element that they're associated with normally. Maybe I just throw in the Mega Cool? <laughs> hey, Pierce, you wanna like throw down the Mega Cool? Yeah, that's Mega Cool, man. Elder Wood? Let's go, Ulysses. Okay, that's enough healing anyway, so that's perfect. Ow. Love seeing all these summons. I try to skip once I've like already summoned it a couple of times per session. Oh my god, that does some solid fucking DPS output. Okay, Poison Perch. Mega cool. What does this do? 223? He summons Neptune. 
Remember, this is like fire and earth or something. The only one that's in trouble here is Jenna. We good? Oh, we're good. Sheba took the most damage there. But of course, a Jin stun. You gotta catch up, Jenna. You gotta catch up. In fact, you start casting that Elder Wood over and over again, I think Felix dropped the Thor. Megiddo. Megiddo. We can a foe's attack, yeah. I don't actually have it anymore. Fuck. Pure wish. Thor. Spritz. That could be useful. Uh, I might as well do it anyway. Jet is so fast. Thor is surprisingly fast to render in. I just love it. I don't know how they pulled this one off with all of, like the lag in this engine. Just very well optimized. <laughs> all right, full party heal. Love to see it. Might be an expensive heal, but it pops off. There we go. <laughs> Summons Mars. Yeah, man. What do you think you're gonna do? Like burn my party? Summons Mercury. It's over. It's over. This boss is so dead. This boss is so dead. Strike through an enemy's defense. All right. I think we throw out the Megiddo again. Weaken a foe's attack or elemental elemental strength. Lullifo into a deep sleep. I don't think it'll work, but the fact that I keep using my genie up for my status like effects. Status like effects. This guy can't heal at all either, so he's fucked. He can only summon the genie he takes. He neutral attacks and stun gyp. It didn't even proc. The stun gyp didn't even proc. Alright. Stun gyp. RuneScape 3 Bunyip. Attack with nature's venom. I will shine. Paralyze. Weaken a foe's attack. Let's just breath. Oh, never mind. Weaken a foe's attack. Restore. Okay, whatever. Attack down anyway. My man's getting decimated over here by my own genie. Shine bright like a diamond on him. Dude, even the fire does so good damage. He double chin stuns. He's trying so hard. But the great Demi Fiend will fall. Eclipse. Holy shit, I had judgment. Throw down judgment, man. Let's get Tiamat. I think HP Drain's even gonna pop off. Mega Era. Okay. Atalanta because it's part water then. Restore ally status. Go ahead, heal everybody, I guess. Now sheep is the fastest. How does this keep working? Judgment. Love seeing this bad boy pop back in. Once again, a well desi designed summon that starts to lag at like this part. Yeah. Sometimes the forest bit lags a little bit. Atalanta. <laughs> you can see like the PNG right there, but okay. 633. This guy's on his last legs. Tiamat. The big dragon comes in. Goodbye, man. It's like 600 yet. Yeah, 500 damage. I think it's time for Piers to just pop off. Oof. I think Piers is going to drop a, an entire meteor on this guy. Defense is back to normal, but also Valukar sees well once again. Holy shit, man. He took a lot of damage. Can I just... Uh, well... Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Blast enemies with a wind strike. Siphon a foe's HP with a kiss. Alright, everybody's healed up. Now Fizik can't take maximum damage. This guy, oh my god. There it goes. This guy will fall in just about another turn. He summons Procne. 
Poor Jenna. Poor Jenna. She's stunned. Look how sad she is. Ow. Ugh. That hurts. It hurts. Okay. <laughs> Heal all party ailments. That ain't happening. In fact, bringing you back probably ain't even happening. Okay, heal everybody. Yeah. Need to like boost everybody's everybody's defense, but I like you come back. Please. Yes? Okay. Everybody's healed up. You need XP more than anything. I don't care if you die for the meme. Stop! It hurts, it hurts. It hurts the Jenner. It hurts Jenna. Neptune. The god of the sea, Neptune. Summon Neptune, Jenna. Go for it. <laughs> Negotiate a temporary ceasefire. I will summon the dinosaur to end him off. The dinosaur to end the final, the final last hit. After the meteor hits the Demi Fiend, the last dinosaur will come finish him off. It's just like Chrono Trigger. It's just like Chrono Trigger. <laughs> That's not a Chrono Trigger reference whatsoever at all. It's not even close. Hey, Neptune comes in though and like utterly decimates. 1,111 damage. He's gone. You felled Valukar. 8,702 experience points. Hey, Felix level 38. <laughs> you felled Valukar. I learned something from this. I'm doing my part. Okay, Felix, get back on the boat, man. Felix can now summon Daedalus. Daedalus. I didn't even see what it was. It was 5 and 3. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I get out. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Daedalus normally is 4 Mars, 3 Venus. It must have been 5 and 2. I don't know if the math even works. So we have to go to Islet Cave, which is at the Islet of Time. Where is my boat? Dude, where is my boat? Where is my car? I quickly and slowly get all my genie back now. Oh my god, I can't believe we've beaten yet another like optional boss. Of course that one wasn't hard at all in comparison, but still, it was fun. Uh, let's see here, that's North Osenia. The Islet of Time is, uh, is this here? That's West Indra. Where the fuck? The Islet of Time. That's the Sea of Time. After you complete the Animal Trade quest! <laughs> what? Okay. See chapter 7D. I'm going to the 7th dimension. I'm going to the 7th fucking dimension. I only see two references for chapter 7D. Animal Trade Quest. It's 8C, what are you talking about? What are you- that's 8C. Sang save Pangolina. I have like the dog bone, I have like the, the red scarf. Trade the milk for the turtle with the dog. What? Hold on, what? Trade the red scarf. Okay, I need to go to North Osenia Islet. That ain't hard. I'm right there, man. In fact, where the fuck am I? I'm right there, man. I'm, I'm right there, man. I'm not even gonna fight in a battle, man. I'm right there, man. I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there with you, man. I'm right there, man. I'm right there, man. So we stopped at getting the red cloth, and I just never looked back at any of the animal trading quest stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, I kept seeing that in my inventory, and I was like, I can't throw that away. I think it says it's important. A oh, rare item. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna drop it. I didn't I didn't save before dropping it. I would have like reloaded and done all that shit again. In fact In fact, I'm not even gonna look at the item in my inventory, but just in fact. 
the game's gonna explode. The game, the game will quantumly explode within like five minutes if I don't get over this island. That's a lot of time to do that, but like, to be fair, if you just didn't know this game at all, or you're like an AI, you you'd probably blow up. <laughs> quantumly explode. I jumped directly into the city. Yep, I just I directly jump into the city. There's a cow. I give I give the scarf to this cow. And the problem was that I didn't have sand, Psy energy. I was like, I know I can get over there. I think it has to do with the sand. I don't know yet though. I'll come back here later. I think I could leave that way. Oh, that red neckerchief is quite nice indeed. That would lift my spirits. There you go. This really brightens my mood. I pick it back up, no. Tied the neckerchief to the tree. Are you giving that lovely thing to moi? Yeah. Smile. That's so kind of you. I should repay you. Have some milk. Got some milk. Moo, moo. Yep. A nice red neckerchief will never steer you wrong. Well, I hope you enjoy it. My cow is really fucking happy now. Like, I just get, like, some insane dialogue, right? My cow is really fucking happy now. I, I, like, sometimes the game does that to you. I, I was talking about that in the like wheat sword video, right? The the great grain weapons. The great grain weapons. West Indra Island is where I go next. If you're following along, that's where you go next for the animal trading quest. To be fair, getting sand psi energy is kind of later on. You have to do all that stuff to even get up Mount Mikage and everything. West Indra Islet. So I trade with the dog? The dog wants milk? Okay. The dog wants milk. <laughs> Animal trading quest. I love that you can do this. I think maybe that's probably why the wheat sword has like so many references. Is like the genie, the dog, the animal trading quest, etc. I smell fresh milk. I love it. I love. It. <laughs> Are you gonna give me that milk? Are you? Huh? Huh? I'll trade you this for it. I caught it myself. The dog is drooling in the sprite. Felix traded his milk for the dog's turtle. <laughs> Felix got a little turtle. Arf, arf. I don't like to waste. I'll just take little tiny laps. Okay. Enjoy your milk. That doggy's gonna grow big and strong. I love the dog in this game. It's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> so tiny, almost looks like Snoopy. The dog in the water complains about the salty water and like to drink something more juicy. Okay, you want something more like, you know, something better for him. Well, I can pace it out with his milk then. I don't know if you should be drinking salt water. Maybe they should be filtering that for the dog or like boiling something. We need to go to Islet Cave? Where is that? This? This? Where's Islet Cave? What? I don't know where that is. Islet Cave. Huh? Golden Sun. Optional dungeon. I didn't know about this. There's turtles there. It's accessible only with teleport synergy, by the way. Apparently, it's kind of deep. Wait, there's an optional bo- Okay, wait about what? So- Huh? There's another optional boss that I wasn't even- This is the best level- because it is the site of a Mercury Genie, the best level grinding spot in the game, and the optional boss sentinel guarding a summoning town. What the fuck? You just have to do all of this before you even do this uh, the side trading qu I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Pengus. <laughs> the name of the penguins are literally called Pengus. That's so cute. 
Finally go to the Sea of Time Islet. Where is that? Sea of Time Islet. Wait, what? Sea of Time. Southeast of Lemuria. Okay, yeah. See, the other guide wasn't quite clear. The fandom article is a lot clearer on where you go here. Hey, if you want kind of like a 40 hour long walkthrough, there you go. Just look at my content. Yeah, the fandom page actually gives you a pretty concise look through of where to go. And it links all of the items you need, all of the locations you need to go, and all of the synergies you need to acquire. This? This is the Sea of Time. It's been a while since I've come over here. Sea of Time Islet. The turtle is here, of course. It used to be a little dive in the ocean. Yeah, but now you fall off the fucking world. I go over here? How do I get over there? Hmm. I'm like angling my head as if I'm steering a car in a racing game or something. I got like full tilt controls unlocked. I'm so very sad and lonely. I wish I had a friend to call my own. Light bulb. <gasps> hey, you've got an itty bitty turtle tot, don't ya? Why don't you set that little guy free with me? Sure. Smile. At long last, I have a friend. Loathsome George, I am no more. I'm so happy. I don't have much to offer in return, but I can show you my secret spot. Hop on my back. Quick, hop on my back, Felix. <laughs> to optional content! And we're off. I'm riding a fucking turtle. Why is it there, like, Felix riding a turtle? Art. No, 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 no. Felix riding a turtle in Golden Sun has to exist. Damn it. The, the turtle mount. Felix with his turtle mount. Golden Sun 4. Well, here we are. When you want to go back to the island, just let me know. This area is just completely inaccessible. The music, though. The fucking music, though. We've heard this, but... real quick. I ride the turtle again. Okay, let's go. So am I confused? Is this the same dungeon that I was looking at before? Uh, what was this? It was Appendix C. Island of Time and Animo San Inner Sanctum. I think this is actually the the third dungeon. Islet Cave. 
and I, I seem to recall it now, like, you know, it's all coming back to me as it does in this game. But, uh, this is the, like, best grinding dungeon, because I think the other one, um, doesn't have nearly as good enemies or something. And also, like, you're just there for Dalahan. I think, I think the last dungeon's probably, like, a little shorter, right? This one's kind of deep. According to the guide and just, you know, in general. Because they wanted to, like, give you some additional content. This is the DLC. This is the DLC. There's the genie! Okay, what? Squirrel Fang and Dinox? I guess you can get here super fucking early? So... Sure. Sure. I can summon a Dinox. I got 415 XP for that? So we defeated Yampi Desert Cave and Valukar. Yep, Islet Cave. Once you complete the animal trade quest, you can enter this place. This dungeon is pretty small, actually. Oh, really? It is just several times the same corridor, but each consecutive corridor is darker than the last one. Oh, okay. Angie, Give me the genie now. Give me the goddamn genie now. I was convinced that we, like, unlocked a further hidden boss, and I was like, what the fuck? How'd that happen? Attack with nature's venom. Attack with a double strike. Weaken the foe's attack. Damn it. Shiva doesn't have anything that says attack. Siphon the foe's HP with a kiss. <laughs> well. I get another genie. Am I just missing one? Or does, like, Dullahan's dungeon give me two? Apparently one of the dropped weapons here are one of the best in the game. I don't really remember using it much. I think I have one. Let me look at it real quick, if I have it. Let's see here. Actually, no, that's a Hestia Blade, okay. Tessaphone Edge. 911 attack on Garrett. Unleashes Vengeance. Taste Vengeance. I mean, it's slightly better. <laughs> sure. I guess you can grind this weapon in this dungeon. I'm shaking my head, I don't know. But there are some unique mobs. Uh, not yet, though. I need to go deeper. I guess I, I missed that genie all this time. How? I never went in here. I get a rusty staff. Did I, like... I, I swear I was here before, but maybe not. Clotho's just staff. Have you met Clotho? Clotho. He's a clown. Clotho's a clown. He's distaff. His distant staff. So that teleporter right there will actually warp me over to the inner sanctum. I see. Or the inner dungeon, not the inner sanctum. The inner dungeon. What the fuck? Turtle boots? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> hey, Garrett, man. You really need these. Oh, he doesn't want them. Nobody in the primary party wants to equip them. That's funny. That's really funny. I mean, I guess I could have come here... No, I, I guess you, you need a lot of stuff to get to this point. So, I guess, like, we put weak enemies here just in case of technicality. Fucking crazy. Yeah, the rest is just decorative, and you gotta, like, teleport in. It feels like you should have been able to get here really early, and I think you can. Just because of the trading quest? But this locks you from going any further. And I remember this. Oh, fuck. So this boss, I remember, it's kind of difficult. In comparison to the Star Magician, it's not nearly as bad, but it's... Un uh, I would say the same level and a harder level as the Dread Pirate Blackbeard, yes? I think it's around that, right? I could be wrong. This dungeon layout, though, seems so reminiscent. This is very Golden Sun. 
We're, we're in the deep dungeon now. I guess, like, if you really wanted to, you could come all, all the way over here and then go to the next dungeon, the Animo San Inner Sanctum, and beat the shit out of Dullahan. And then just, like, you know, go beat the game. You're your first time. But you're not gonna have fun with the final boss. <laughs> the real final boss is Dullahan. There's a reason you're given so much fucking crazy XP from mobs like that. And, like, grinding is still kind of technically... Uh, no. Grinding is still kind of technical, and it's still kind of good. Does this say technically good? No. I mean, in my opinion, but it's still kind of technical, and still kind of good. There's, like, a reason to sit around and beat up cruel dragons if you want. You can get four... You can get eight Tissaphone Edge if your randomizer has everybody able to equip a fucking blade. Or you can just drop out an Excalibur on it and, like, it'll die in one full turn. There it goes. Thundermine? Uh, okay. See, I remember Chad saying that that's a good synergy, but it seems to just do almost nothing. There it goes. There it goes. I think it's about time, right? I think it's about time. I don't, I don't believe we really have any other weapons to upgrade to. Jafenna might want something, but you literally have Excalibur. 180 attack. What's this? 200. It's only a 20 difference. At that point, really, what do I have left? Levitine? That's 173. Huge sword? That's weaker. That's 155. Rotho's Staff. Tungsten Mace? That's weaker. That's 159. Stellar Axe? 171. You want that? She doesn't even fucking want it. You want the Trident, Jenna? Wait a sec. <laughs> One in stock. It sounds like we're just like selling shit to each other. Okay. I'll end up buffing all their stats, but it seems like we don't really want anything else. Oh, this is this is funny. This is very silly. Hello, hello, Druge. Sheep is Excalibur, lets out a hell. Legend. My couch lets out a hell. Legend. What a legend. He has a howling couch. I wanted to put on my fucking sock. And the thing squeaks. God, he must be like fucking 8,000 pounds. Yeah. Just divide that number by, uh... Um... Like 800. So I just tremor this? Is that what happens? And it falls over? Huh? In the second corridor, use tremor to make a Mercury Genie appear. I think because I'm standing in front of it, the game canceled it out. It's like it's gonna fall on you, dude. This ain't no Castlevania, man. I can take some damage. Oh, they're they're afraid to drop statues on you. <laughs> they're so afraid to drop a fucking statue on you. Use tremor to make a Mercury genie appear. What are you talking about? Just in the corridor in general? I'm like way too close. What the fuck? Please, Drush. Human hunt. Oh no. Wait, two damage. Hold on, is that like an insta-kill move, or is, is she just really bad? I think the drudge is really bad. Oh, that looks fucking cool. That looks fucking cool. The demon eye effect is fucking awesome. In the second corridor? So this one's just like a meme. What? <laughs> you lied to me, game. You guide, you lied to me. Effect. He goes laser eyes on me. The guide you literally uses terms like BTW. BTW. By the way, but BTW, like the full acronym. What? In the second corridor, use Tremor to make a Mercury Genie appear. Excuse me? 
No, I'm looking that up. I look cave, Mercury, Genie. No, I, ha I already have it open. Seric. Shaking statue in one of the pillars. To make it fall. Cast Tremor near the statue with precise positioning, and thus several repeated attempts to tremor the statue off may be required. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. It is precisely exactly what I needed. See, they know. They fucking know. I'm gonna summon Zoggin on these fools. Why not Frost Spiral to do even more damage to this fire-based enemy? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. It runs! It fucking runs away! It was scared. It didn't want to give me 16,000 XP. I thought I was going to try and run. Neutral attack. I legit think the, the game engine doesn't want to give you so much XP. That's why they're like so flighty, literally. It runs. It runs. <laughs> Okay. You want to be so close to it that like you're on the exact tile and it, like perfectly near it, or you have to be kind of far away, like right here. Make a tremor, Jenna. Jenna, make a tremor. Sarek. Where does that? Jin location guide. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh my god. No, you're just circling shit, man. I need like a fucking gif image or something. How about Golden Sun Universe? Mid. What the. Okay, you stand, like, right next to it, but it's, like, right here? Huh? No wonder why. I probably fucking missed this. What? How precise does the game want you to be? You have to face it. You have to face the statue. Okay, I'm just not like doing it right somehow, but I'm getting close. I'm just gonna bind it. Hotkey bind tremor. Oh, I see. Maybe you have to like be at an angle. There you go. You gotta have, like face it at a very fucking weird angle. And it's a Mars genie. Hey man. You good, man? I still need reveal for something probably. I wouldn't be surprised if getting to Delahan requires reveal. Mars Genie. It caught me by surprise, but we're also fully healed. And you do like less than 50 damage to every single person. Goodbye. I think we've seen enough Excalibur. Too bad you don't also want a Soul Blade. Oh my god. The sound effect gets me every time with this one. Kindle. Tinder and Kindle. <laughs> hey, babe, you want a Tinder and Kindle? <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so fucking stupid. The new Netflix and chill has been unlocked. Coral. Yeah, you don't need this, man. Like, give that over here. That's good enough. I am a Kindle fire. I am a Kindle fire. I feel like we're looping back around to like tomatoes, do photos, Doritos, Locos, Tacos gaming or whatever. Kindle fires. Yo, that's so fucking Kindle fire, bro. Like, let me let me get some of that. Yeah, fucking put it right there, man. Yeah, this boss, not hard to get to from what I recall. As as described, the corridors get darker. Freeze prism. That is a cruel dragon. What a cruel, cruel dragon. 
but I'll utterly eviscerate them for the duplicitous XP. Boost party defense. Strike a blow that can cleave stone. Uh, negotiate a ceasefire. You fools! It was all a trick. It was all a trick I've run. <laughs> I tricked them. I put them to sleep in Pokemon and I ran away. That was fucked up. What they just did to you. I just did it back to him, man. I got him back for it. Ice rain. Yeah, that shit hurts. I hate... Like, every time you see that weather, it's like, oh, it's one of those days. Yeah, see? And then you gotta, like, prepare, like, your face and all of, like, your limbs. You gotta make sure you're, like, bundled up. It's awful. It's fucking awful. Can we just, like... Can I get the Megi no, please? Just drop a meteor on this dragon over here. Nope. We double slash. Demon eye. <laughs> Every time I hear the phrase non demon eye, I'm like demon eye. <laughs> what does that translate to? Like, is anything wrong or like non demon eye? I don't know. I like how you spell demon eye. It's nothing special. It's nothing. Non demon eye. It's nothing. So like whenever you log into RuneScape and you like turn on the RuneLight like Japanese translation plugin and you examine like something like nothing on the floor. Just a piece of garbage. Or like you use a garbage on a garbage. It says non demo night. Basically nothing interesting happens. <laughs> My whole stream. Literally never rains here, let alone hails. Tisiphone Edge! <laughs> That was a cool ability. I don't think I've ever seen that. Holy shit. Let alone hail. Uh, sleet is like the worst. Sleet with like hard chunks of hail mixed in. When you get the perfect storm of all of it though. Rain on top of like actual sleet on top of like actual snow. So you've got like the mixture and then it has like the mist rain inside of it. And you got like powder snow, and you got like heavy wet snow. And you got like ice wind, and you got like ice rain. Like it's the wind is really picking up too, so it's like heavy, like clump snow. Like you just get the worst thing ever. I hate those days. Okay, we're at, we're at like the actual boss. I don't know if I can beat this right away. I'd like to give it a shot, but this guy's gonna fuck me up. I am the guardian of wind. If you would claim my power, you must prove your worth. And just like uh, there being three Golden Sun games, uh, all four elements are going to be condensed into three parts. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know what? Dull Hand's probably going to take me 50,000 hours to beat. This guy, I don't know. I don't know. I fought this guy several times, actually, because I just genuinely enjoyed this boss, and I went back to him. Once I was a little more powerful, he was a little too weak. So, like, you can't grind the boss. I was just, like, reloading my save after I'd get further sometimes. Or, like, I wouldn't... I would basically progress and then come back, and then, like, you know, I'd save right before the boss. Siphon that follows HP with a kiss! Demon Eye Terraria reference. I love walking into like those weird areas in Terraria really early in the game. It's like you'll find like a, a unique traitor and like some scary NPCs and like cultists. But you can wander into the dungeon, it's just like you know it's a high level area that you don't even go to until a little bit later. Even after, maybe like even after hard mode starts. And you're just sitting there like, oh my god, I should probably get out of here, but there's so much to look at. Attack twice next round. Siphon a false HP with a kiss! I think this guy might be actually super weak. Hold on, what? I thought it said Sentinel, 920 HP. I almost lost it. He has 8,736 HP. So I guess this is meant to be a weaker boss. He's weak to earth, strong against water. I expected like less of a challenge, or more of a challenge, I mean, not less. 
I can lower his defense. He has like buffs and stuff. Yeah, that's true. But this guy's also just like shite. He restores to Hundo. Yeah, man. I think that's like really gonna do anything to Fizek. The Emperor of throwing a meteor at you. Strike a blow that can cleave stone. I will restore, like, I'll gain elemental resistance, in fact. Status? N no, no need. Reduce a foe's resistance, though. Let's fucking go. Yeah. You buff your defense, I fucking lower your resistance. You gotta kill Skeletron before you're even allowed in the dungeon. Wait, will Skeletron show up every time? <laughs> Maybe that's why I had so much trouble, like, super early, right? Maybe not, like, in my first run, but, like, in an early run. Blue Bolt. What a shit move. Dude, I didn't, I didn't expect... I didn't expect the Sentinel to go down so easy. What? As you can see, Sentinel can use Break, so power-ups are hardly useful. I'm doing so much DPS, I don't even think that matters. The main party, let alone the back row party, is slaughtering this guy. Yeah, he can lower my, like, stat bu buffs. But Omegalo... Oh, Megalol. He's already sustained so much damage. Holy fuck. I just, like, I bind him again. I bind him again. And then I throw a Megido. And then I taught... Oh, he's weak to wind? Or he's weak to earth? Kirin, man. Return ally status to normal. There you go. Like, he fucked up hard, man. He fucked up hard today, man. He thought he would challenge the main party, but he fucked up hard. 435. There's a consistency. That's such a weak summon. I whip out the Megido again. Okay, I guess double Soul Blade is reserved just for Delahan. Look at that. 240 damage. My defense goes down, but also... Man, you suck, man. So he gets three moves. Attack three times, recover 200 HP, recover 30 synergy points. <laughs> Armor Crush, Blue Bolt, Break, Destruct Ray, Guard, Searing Beam, Spark Plasma. He has very, like, generic moves, actually. Use Gravity to bind a foe. I can't heal everybody as Jenna, so Jafenna dropped a Meteor. He's actually, he resists water, so proc me. Yeah. And then a whole party heal. Now, if you go to the dungeon before you kill Skeletron, a dungeon guardian spawns and insta-kills you. That's right, that's right. Like, you can't touch the floor at all, right? So if you want to get in there early, you have to have, like, a vine rope or whatever. And I think it's like, even if you're in there, after, like, 30 seconds it spawns, or... I forget how, like, they, they made it work. I just even remember there was, like, some crazy shit. And so, like, if you get... A grappling hook or something, you can go in there, but even like touching the walls fucks it up or something. Is that how it works? <laughs> I just remember it being like some fucking psycho logic. <sighs> yeah, Terraria is crazy. I love it. Inflict delusion upon him. He's gonna attack a lot of times with Thor, man. Thor, man. And I think uh, we dare. We dare to compare. I don't need to cease fire, I think just lull him into sleep with a neutral attack. That's yeah, almost a hondo damage. He can't steal my genie, so... Arguably this is the weakest boss! The last one can summon like your strongest fucking thing possible. So you could go beat this guy, get his summon, and then go get fucked up by that guy. Like the last boss can spam quietly Q on you, and just heal himself. Okay, if you don't expect it, he can. You could disable all of your genie and run into that boss, he'll fuck you up. Well, Felix is dead. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Like, uh... You think that really hurts me, man? You think that really hurts me, man? Hide away. No, hide away. And then you have just wanted to do this, right? I, I hate that if you press B to back out of a menu and press A immediately, you accidentally select the next thing sometimes. Please come back. 
I needed to get XP real bad. Cool, or uh... Once you go deep enough into the dungeon, it just spawns and you die! Oh, fuck! You don't even stand a chance against the Dungeon Guardian. It will kill. The Dungeon Guardian will kill. It will kill. Double armor crush, but we survive. It wastes its three moves for this turn. Unfortunately, the delusion does not pop off. But hey, two sub-bosses in one part. That feels fucking awesome. We dropped a Megiddo. We drop like, uh... Actually, Tiamat. Okay. See what I, I did it again there. Restore ally status ain't even gonna work. I think I dare just throw out like Mercury. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Jafenna may have 37 HP. She may have 37 HPs, but she's okay. Okay, I didn't need to add the S to the last thing. I wanted to say HPs, and then I just accidentally added the S to the last thing anyway. Dude, he's tanking damage, but he's gone in like one or two more turns. Heal, please. We good. Defenders hurt, but we good. Mercury to pop off once again for the 132. Ow. I'm just imagining going deep enough into Dullahan's dungeon and instantly dying. Okay. You're good. Oh. Keep going. You're good. You're good. Dungeon Guardian has like 9,000... 9,999 health. And you can technically kill it, but literally every attack does one damage against it no matter what. <laughs> That's amazing. That's fucking amazing. Reduce a foe's resistance. I just gotta do it like this. Please come back, Jenna. I dropped the meteor once again. Once again, I am here dropping the meteor on you, Sentinel. I'm here once again to drop the meteor on you, Sentinel. Please. Stop. Ah, oh, please, 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 please. Uh, Chief is dead. Fuck. Armor crush. Oh my god. Okay, well, this guy's going like fucking wombo combo mode. Holy shit. You just heal. You bring anybody back? Yeah, holy shit. Please. It has no effect, she just stays dead. She just stays dead. Oh, my defense goes down. I might need to pull out the old party for this, but that's okay. I didn't expect this boss to like whip me with a triple attacks. Holy fuck. It's recovering HP quickly now. Store HP to all allies. Yeah. It's all ogre. It's all ogre. We just gotta go in. To make some super insane modded stuff, you need to kill Dungeon Guardian. So, like, oh, fuck. Wait, so is it hard lock to always one damage even in modded? Because that seems kind of wacky. Hold on, we're gonna sit here for a few hours on the Dungeon Guardian. We could do two damage per second, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good, all things considered. You know what the main party needs to die at some point, I guess. He gets it all back. Yep. Yep. Strike through his defense. There's no way I'm going to do enough damage. He casts guard. That's fine. It's fine. This has happened before, so... You still have to do one damage per hit. We get the full back roll party back. Now we can start unleashing the fucking beast. Which really won't take anything. Like, uh, this guy's pretty weak to earth? Okay. Demon Knight. Ghost Soldier. I think we just summon, like, all of our summons remaining, maybe? I don't know. Boost Party Agility, maybe? Attack with Flames Fury. Attack up. Freeze a foe to drop its defense. My friend and I spent like 10 minutes killing one. How many fucking items do you even get from this mob? That it's like that essential. <laughs> 1,999 HP. Bear in mind, I think the cap is 9,000, right? Or is it 1,000? Or 2,000, rather. Yeah, all of the damage stack is coming in. Everything he regen is now accounted for. 
He can do damage, but it's not gonna do anything. I can all neutral attack now. This boss is over. Mia takes one damage from the armor crutch. Oh no. Poor boss. Bolster the party's defense. Boost party resistance. Wrap a foe in a feverish delusion. Seal a foe's synergy. It drops like fucking insane materials. Well, when we play Terraria, we could just have like a fucking Dungeon Guardian box. Where we can go and be like, hey, we need to team up on the Dungeon Guardian again for a little bit. We just sit there and we stack like three of them on top of each other. So we can get like, you know, not just one kill per like seven minutes. Because we'll get like a super weapon to speed up kills or whatever. No, 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 no don't do that. Let's do the summons now that the Synergy sealed. Say that five times fast. Go ahead and scorch him. Create a watery shield. Strike him. Brennan Joner modded Terraria one. It's kind of like the same thing as Sea of Thieves, but I'm like I'm wondering how much we play either one of them, right? 928 damage. Cybell pops off. Chill out, man. I do a thousand damage. Now cool, like heat up, man. I inflict judgment upon him. Kaboom. Kaboom. 1,419 damage. He wasn't even close. The armor crush does three damage on Ivan. Our stats are already buffed. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. You know what? It don't even matter none. Holy shit. The synergy seal's gone, but also like Omega lol, bro. Veil of Foes Vigor, like Squall Paralyzing. Penetrate Defense. Counter an enemy's attack, I'm too fast. Revive all downed allies. What the fuck? What? Okay. Create a watery shield. We will play it soon. I feel like I was running out of games I wanted to play, and now once again I've like discovered things I want to play, so it's good. It's good. A hailstorm of arrows. And he's gone. You failed you fa you failed the sentinel. Yeah, with the main party I did. You failed the sentinel. One thousand ten thousand five hundred and thirty-eight XP. Six thousand coins. He's so sad. Felix examined the stone tablet. And there it is. The third elemental optional boss dispatched. We just have Delahan left. Felix can now summon Catastrophe. Eight Mercury. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess. I guess. I don't know if you can even like move the party around now that they're down. But I'll worry about that later. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Retreat. Victory Screech! Well, the last place to go is Animos Inner Sanctum. Yup. You all set to go back to the island? And back we go. He's depressed on the turtle. He's like so dead, but he's still alive. Apparently, Charon in vanilla does 4,000 damage. So you just summon it twice and then just do something. Okay. Oh, my stomach. Brent hungry mode. Alright. One of the mods I use adds a healer and a bard class. I want to try healer. That sounds insane. Bard sounds very silly. Well, I want to thank you very much for enjoying some Golden Sun, the Lost Age randomizer with me. The last part truly will embody the Dullahan. And also probably the glitching... Uh, but until then, hey, thank you very much for enjoying this with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.